Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking SEC football, Alabama at LSU. College basketball is finally back and we've got a promo code. The code is BALL for 15% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. Alabama 8-0 on the year, 6-2 against the number. LSU is 3-4, 4-3 against the spread. Alabama, big, big favorites in this one, minus 29 and a half. The total is 67 and a half. And of course, Alabama still vying for that top spot in the college football playoffs. So they need to perform well here. But this is not the, the marquee game that people were probably hoping for, you know, when the season started. LSU is not the team that they were last year, especially without Joe Burrow. We've got Dan Kaiser joining us to talk this one. Dan, that's a lot of points, uh, but Alabama's really good. Who do you like? Yeah, yeah, they are. I mean, yeah, you know, Alabama just keeps roll, rolling along, no pun intended. I mean, they're coming off a 42-13 uh, win over Auburn in the Iron Bowl. They look, they look really good in that game. You know, they've got three guys that all could, could all be considered uh, Heisman candidates. You know, quarterback Mark or Mac Jones, 23 touchdowns, three interceptions. The running back, Najee Harris, has 893 rushing yards, 17 rushing touchdowns. I mean, I don't even think Michigan State has 17 touchdowns this whole season. Devontae Smith. Not. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but Devontae Smith, 1,000 yards, receiving 12 touchdowns. You know, the only thing you could say about Bama at the beginning of the year was their defense. You know, their defense was uh, missing assignments and poor communication. But, uh, you know, they probably got the hardest defense there is to learn in, in college football. It's like an NFL-type defense, the way they change plays, play calls in the middle, you know, as they're lined up the, uh, for the snap. So it's, it's they've gotten back into form. They're looking like a, a, an Alabama defense in the last couple of weeks. And then you got LSU. I mean, how the mighty have fallen, you know, national champs last year, and they just look terrible. Coming off a loss to Texas A&M, where basically they covered at the end. They looked better earlier in the year before uh, Brennan got injured. You know, their quarterbacks, four touch, thrown four touchdowns and only with five interceptions. He's got to be lucky if he makes it through this game. Their only bright spots, Ter uh, Terrace Marshall, their wide receiver. He's got 10 touchdowns this year, so he may get a score here or there. I'm, in this game, I like Bama. They're coming off that, it could be a little bit of a letdown coming off the Iron Bowl. They're looking to Florida coming up soon. I don't think they want to show everything they have. So I'm going to take the points. I think anything over four touchdowns. You got to consider, and again, this is a, a night. I think it's a night game in LSU, so that always crazy things happen. So take the points and pray I hold on at the end. Basically. Yeah. Oh man, well that's definitely a lot of points uh, to ask Alabama to cover, especially they're not trying to cover spreads. Uh, they're trying to beat up on people, but when it comes to the fourth quarter. Uh, the back door is probably going to be open if they're not just doing an absolute drubbing, which it should be noted that some of their recent games have been absolute drubbings. Mississippi State, 41 to nothing. UK, 63 to, to 3. And then Auburn, of course, you mentioned 29 to 13. So their defense has been better as of late, allowing 0, 3, and 13 points over their last three games. I don't know what we're going to see from LSU because their offense has not been uh, an offense that it was in the past, but it's still averaging 30 points a game. So maybe we'll see some life from LSU uh, in the big spot against L uh, Alabama. At least maybe they can score some because that's basically what you're asking uh, when you're asking a team to cover a spread that big. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I would just think that maybe at, at some point, because, you know, the last couple of years, you know, when they had two, he always got seemed to get hurt at, at some point in the season. You would think that maybe looking ahead, that if they do get a big lead, they may start resting, you know, Devontae Smith and Najee Harris and, and Jones, maybe in the fourth quarter, that gives you a chance me that gives you a chance at that backdoor cover uh any leanings on the total 67 and a half is pretty pretty high but yeah I'd probably, if i was going to take anything i'd probably i'd lean, no, I'd lean to the over because you know alabama if, if things go totally wrong you got lsu and if things go totally wrong Bama could put up 60 in this one but i know your best play is on lsu and that's where we're gonna wrap it up uh for our sec football talk here on picks and parlays great insight as always from Dan Kaiser. Dan, thanks for joining us.